here is the basic setup for the friction lab. What you are going to be needing for this will include the block for which you want to calculate the coefficient of friction for. Make sure to always keep the wooden side down, whether it's the wide area or the narrow one. You will need some weights to increase the normal force. You will need a scale because other than the weights, you still need the mass of the block itself. You are also going to be needing the GLX unit that is connected to the force sensor as well as the laptop to which it is connected to uh, that has the PESCO capstone software. Okay, this piece of wood seems to be about 111 grams. Now for the software setup. When you open the capstone software, if you have the updated version, make sure to choose classic templates and table and graphs. Before starting, check that the software has, in fact, recognized that a force sensor is connected. If not, you need to close the software, check your connections, and that the GLX is powered before reconnecting and restarting. For the columns, select measurement, time, and force. In the graph, select force for the vertical axis, and time will already be selected on the horizontal axis. Go well, also to data summary. And under sensors, click on properties for force, go to numerical format, and check that the number of decimal places for output is 3. Now we are ready to begin taking data. Before pulling on the block, double make sure that the surface is perfectly clear. You have selected the mass assigned to you. And remember, you need to start by making sure that the string is loose. At which point, hold the sensor horizontally and press the calibration zero button. When ready to take the data, you start the recording in PASCO and then you very gently start increasing the tension in the string while holding it level until it starts moving 
at which point pull it gently at a constant velocity for about five or six seconds. If you did the measurement correctly, then it should start off at the calibrated zero tensional value, slowly build up steadily in the static friction regime to a distinguishable peak, then suddenly break to the kinetic regime at which point, if you pulled it steadily, it should have a relatively constant value that later on we can smooth out by averaging. Before switching to any other combination of side and weight, make sure to record the run number that your data collection corresponded to. And then you will be able to switch to say the narrow side with the weight on top and then start the experiment for it. Once again, check that you have a nice slow buildup over several seconds, a distinguishable peak, and then a steady plateau. Once you are done with your portion of the data collection, you will need to export the data because the default file type is only readable by PASCO and we want to import it into a spreadsheet later. Make sure the file type is text and perhaps code the title of it in a way that it keeps track of run number and what are the combinations for each.